In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best themed Airbnbs near Disneyland Paris that will literally transport you into the heart of Adventureland. And the best thing about it is, it's less than a 10 minute drive to the parks. Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. Today, I am in a place called Adventure Home, which is an Airbnb, really not that far from Disneyland Paris. It's probably about a 10, 12 minute drive from here to the parks, and you can also get buses there if you wish to. And this apartment is, as you can imagine, themed to Adventureland, one of the lands in Disneyland Park. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the awesome little details of this Airbnb Adventure Home, because Adventure Home is actually owned by Tadiko Homes, as I mentioned, and Tadiko Homes has a few other Airbnbs near Disneyland Paris as well, and I've stayed at one of the other apartments too. We stayed there last October. That one was a Frontierland themed, and it was called Frontier Home. And as you can imagine, obviously Phantom Manor, Big Thunder Mountain, really, really cool as well. I do have a video of that, which I'll link down below if you wanna check it out. We stayed there in October, as I mentioned, around Halloween time, which made it extra spooky. But Adventure Home is just as awesome, honestly. This Airbnb, this is my second day here. We stayed here last night. We've got another night coming as well. And it's, I think, a really good alternative to some of the other accommodation options around the parks because, as I mentioned, really not that far from the parks, about 10, 12 minutes. And you can also get buses if you don't want to get an Uber. But, yeah, really nice, something different. There's a lot going on, as you can see behind me. But before we get to the tour, I do want to give a big thanks to Tadika Homes for having me here for two nights. I just enjoy these apartments so, so much. And I know they have a couple of other ones as well. They have one for Space Mountain. So of course, Discovery Land, Discovery Home, I believe that one's called. Can't wait to stay in there, hopefully another time in the future. But because I've already experienced Frontier Home, the Frontierland themed one, which the link is down below, I just know that they do a phenomenal job and the owners are incredible as well. So big shout out to Jerome and Sandy who own Tadika Homes. But yeah, come along on the tour of this beautiful apartment. We're gonna start from outside so you can see what it's like to come in. Let's go. Welcome to Adventure Home. This is an Airbnb owned by Tadika Homes. Really not that far from Disneyland Paris, maybe about a 15 minute drive away. And ooh, already as you come in, you can see a little plant on the ceiling. Very nice, I'm gonna close the door now. This is very much an Adventureland themed Airbnb, as you can imagine. There are, you know, loads of, you know, homages to Adventureland everywhere, including the dining table over here. As you can see, the chairs, they have these nice details on them. You've got Tadika Homes over here with all the details that you would need as well for your stay. I like the fact they actually have some hand sanitizers on the table as well. 2022, that's the times that we're living in. Here we've got, what would you call this, Izzy? A tea can. Yeah, there you go, just a nice little feature over here. Some more plants. And don't worry, we're gonna have a look at all the details in this area, in this whole Airbnb properly as the video goes along because there's so much to see. If you think this dining room is the best thing so far, you're mistaken. There's a lot more to come. But one of my favorite things actually is that we have a map here of Adventureland, which is cool. You can see Pyrus, the pirate ship. You can see the Swiss family treehouse, Le Cabin de Robinson. What's that, Spyglass? Was it Hitay Hill? Yeah. Skull Rock is over there as well. Really cool. So yeah, just a nice little, you know, introduction i suppose to where you're going to be staying at look at these plants here as well lord have mercy they're huge obviously they're fake right yeah yeah <laughs> just double checking um i suppose you know, the upkeep of them wouldn't be really possible with people coming in and going but they look cool it makes you really feel like you're in like a jungle vibe and yeah there's a lot to see but i do want to quickly show you the entrance of this area i'm going to give you three seconds just to guess what this is and you can see there's loads of again greenery and plants around me and we didn't even know what this was when when izzy and i my friend izzy and i arrived here last night we thought what the hell i can even go in is this just a wall what's going on it's the bathroom so yes let me know in the comments down below if you guessed it right um, this is the light over here. We're going to just switch it on. We're going to open the door. It's very rare that I get so excited about a bathroom, but trust me, this is quite a good one. We are now in the bathroom. I'm going to close the door so I can show you things a little bit better. So here we are in the bathroom at Adventure Home by Tadika Homes. And already you can see all these statues up there, which add so much character and great theming 
to the bathroom. Here we've got the mirror, of course, with these awesome looking lamps and another fake plant here. Loads of greenery everywhere. If you've been to Adventureland and Disneyland Paris especially, this is the vibe you do get, like loads of plants, loads of trees everywhere. I love the sink, again with this golden matte colour, really really nice. And even like, look, this little, what would you call it, this glass for your toothbrush and toothpaste has an Adventureland feel to it, and, and as well as the soap. These are just my stuff, so you don't get given these. But you do get um, liquid soap, which is normally my preference. And again, you even have little characters here, there's a little animal here, I can't figure out which what animal it is. And we're going to get to that later, that's one of the fun bits about the bathroom. We have this ladder here, which again is kind of, you know, very well themed with the rest of this Airbnb. Obviously we've just put our kind of towels here because you do also get some towels. The ones on the back are clean ones, or like unused ones, these, on, these ones are the ones that we've used already but we're going to use again. And we've got a bath here. Uh, but before I show you the bath actually, let me show you the, the shower curtain, the bath curtain, because this also has a lot of nice patterns and prints on it that gives it a bit of an Adventureland vibe. Love it, especially with, again, those statues up there, which you can see when you pull this away. Very cool. You also get given one of these, well not given, but you also have one of these um, glass doors for the bath, which I really enjoy. And then, there you go, that's some more details of the bath. The shower is one of the showers over there, like the ones where you can actually detach and move around. And I like it, and it's a really good shower actually. Very good shower, and you do get some shower gel over there as well, just there. So yeah, that's basically it in terms of the bath. And then we get to the toilet. Now look at this toilet, look at this. I'm actually gonna close it so you can see the design on it, the pattern, very much adventure vibes, right? You're in the jungle, there's an elephant print. It's almost like the Lion King. And as we know, the Lion King is very much, you know, a vibe that goes with Adventureland. And again, we have another statue here. So you can look at different things as you're doing your business. This is quite cool as well. Nice little detailed stuff. And then of course here, Disneyland Paris, this beautiful poster of, of the uh, rhythms of the Pride Lands, the Lion King show, which actually is in the Frontierland Theatre. But as we all know, the Lion King, generally speaking, is more of an Adventureland vibe. So I understand why they've put it here. I think it's just the only reason it's in Frontierland uh, is because that's kind of where they have a big theatre to host it in. If they had a theatre in Adventureland, I'm sure they would have put it there. This is a phenomenal show, by the way, well worth watching. And then up here again, we've got some statues, different animals, that giraffe one, of course. I'm just gonna, oh, I was about to pick it up, but actually, I like that you can't pick them up. This is great. They're all stuck onto this, and the giraffe one is my favorite. But yeah, you've got an elephant one over here as well. And these cupboards, let me just open them. You get given some baby wipes. I don't know what this is. I'm not quite sure, but it's a nice little print. And then you get quite a lot of um, toilet paper, actually. So if you're worried about that, do not be. And then again here, oh, what is this? This is really fun. <laughs> Funny, just uh, started using it. Oh, maybe you can, like, like, this is a maracas, perhaps, no? Yeah, Lord have mercy. I mean, did you ever think you'd come into a bathroom and have a musical instrument in it? Oh, I just can't wait to be king. This is too much fun. But yeah, that's basically it for the little ornaments and musical instruments that they give you uh, in the bathroom. That toilet is just so cute, the toilet seat and the shower curtains. Let's have another look at it. There you go, that's me. However, it's now time to get into this because this is definitely one of the best features about this bathroom. So basically when I came out of the shower, I saw this information, which I'm so disappointed I did not know this before the shower because <laughs> I would have had a full on shower dance party. So you can connect your phone to Bluetooth because they must have speakers in here. Mm -hmm. Play whatever music you want and then you can have lights going at the same time so that light over there great. and because Izzy showered before me my time was my turn I made the absolute most of it today it was amazing right see if I can get to work. okay all right so hopefully this is work oh yeah and you can hear it to me quite loud actually so you can, as you can see <laughs> As you can see, Izzy's dancing, but also the light up there, which actually, uh, Izzy noticed, also has a speaker into it, is changing colours, and it's very atmospheric, it really is. I've never had a bathroom this cool. Honestly, my shower today was amazing. I'm ready for the ride. I'm ready for the ride. 
Party I never thought I would have. Oh, well done. Adventure home. Even just for this, this has been an incredible step. <laughs> So that was that, the bathroom of dreams to be honest and also the entrance of dreams as well. Who would have thought? It just looks so magical, look. They've even put some plants and greenery up there. Very very well themed. Then from the bathroom we get to the little kitchenette over here and the first thing you'll notice is Aladdin's carpet <laughs> down here which is cute. You've got a washing machine, you've got a fridge here, let me just quickly open it for you. We've put some of our stuff here already. Very very nice. Oh. Let's just close that and then this what is this this is just some kitchen uh, stuff that you might need you get a kettle a toaster coffee making machine a microwave you also get like uh, chocolate coffee tea different kinds of teas and you actually tried one of the teas today that you said was quite nice right yeah it was a berry tea berry tea i think well it was the, the tea was pink, mm. so I think it was like a nice. summer fruit, berry, something like Lovely. that. Lovely. Cool. Um, and on top of the kitchen as well, on top of those uh, little boards, wardrobes, cupboards, whatever you want to call them, you can see there's some uh, like nodges again to nods to Adventureland. With that giraffe statue over there, there's an elephant, obviously, kind of like with Agrabah. Even Aladdin's lamp is over there. I'm just going to zoom it so you can see it. Ignore all the snacks that we have there and just uh, focus on that beautiful Aladdin lamp. So yeah, that's the kitchen. And actually, what's impressive is that even something like the bin, they've chosen something that would be wooden and that would go well with the rest of the apartment. I love that. I love attention to detail, especially when it comes to theming. And they have done a phenomenal job here. Now, let's carry on and have another look at the living area, the living space here. As you can see, we've got this sofa with all these beautiful plants around it. And actually, we've got this kind of quite a big uh, clock here as well, which is nice to have. Um, you know, just seeing exactly what time it is. We're filming this at uh, quarter past 12 <laughs> midday. Uh, that's just my suitcase, so I ignore that. The sofa is really comfortable, you know, I, I stayed here for a bit and edited some videos last night and chilled. There's some more plants here and here we've got another poster, Adventure Isle, Adventureland. And another one, this is an attraction poster, La Cabane de Robinson, again, this is a tree house in Adventureland. Very nice, really, really cute little, again, homages to Adventureland. <laughs> and of course here we've got Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril. Let me know in the comments if you like this ride or not. It's probably one of my least favorite rides in Disneyland Paris. I don't even remember the last time I went on it. It would have been before the pandemic. But it's a roller coaster, it's an adventure land, and some people do enjoy it. And here, of course, <laughs> we've got our Mr. Parrot over there, which is one of the first things I noticed when we first got here yesterday. It's just, I mean, how can you not? It's a red parrot just chilling on this big TV. <laughs> it's hilarious. Really, really nice touch here. It's very cute. The TV is a flat screen TV, of course, quite big as well. Again, you can see some little plants, fake plants all around it, the remote. And actually, one thing that's really good about the TV is that if you stay in an adventure home or any of the Tadika home apartments, I believe, you get access to Disney+, Plus, Netflix, and also a couple of dedicated channels, I believe, to the parks as well as, you know, the apartments here and French TVs as well, French channels. But the bonus, I believe, is Disney Plus and Netflix. You will be able to just watch whatever show you want, your favorite shows here whilst you're in this apartment, which I think is amazing. Under the TV, we've got a variety of books, I wanna say. Let's have a look, what is this? Uh, oh, Tolstoy, Anna Karina, but in French. That's cool. Again, I feel like it gives you like an explorer Adventureland vibe. We've got a globe, a little globe, right next to the books as well. Some tissues. Some USB cables if you want to attach anything to them. We've got another little <laughs> statue, wooden statue of an elephant. And then down here, actually, this is another cool thing about these apartments, is that you get a lot of board games. So if you're into board games, if you're here with your family or friends and if you want to play some games, there are a variety of things. See, we've got Uno there. This is fun. This is for seven families it says and it's a pirate game of course because pirate is an adventure land another pirate game there we've got that villains game board game over there let me know if you've ever played any of these by the way i know uno but that's about it so that's that and again some more attention to detail here with 
little props that you can actually use if you're staying here you can you know use these for some nice photos around the apartment and then some more plants and yeah that's more or less it now we're going to get to the sofa again it's quite a big sofa and because it's just me and izzy we've been using the bed in the bedroom which you are going to see later on but you can actually turn this sofa into a double bed i believe because i think you said this can this place holds about four people yeah a maximum beautiful guide, <laughs> beautiful guide. that which is comes in french and english oh so if you want to test your french <laughs> you can... or test your english that's, that's a, you can read phenomenal and yeah helpfully it's divided by this blue tag nice very helpful it's got the code for like the wi-fi Wi everything like that all the information you need it has information about local restaurants oh nice bus stops, like how to get to the park how to do the is this is in front the french mm -hmm. but is that aircon yeah. Like, yeah yeah so how did you have to do this to do the aircon which so if we have over there that's space. just there nice so all, every info you need is just nicely presented here for you and so yeah, if you are a family of four, if there's four of you, this definitely does turn into a bed. And I think you can see it's a pull-out bed. I think you just probably pull it over there and then it will magically turn into a bed. So I'm just here chilling on the sofa. I noticed a couple of other details I wanted to show you. Firstly, here right next to the plant, we've got a little gramophone, I believe. Oh my God, Izzy. Oh, Izzy's just gone into the bathroom. Lord have mercy. Sorry, I just found another note. So this is what I was gonna tell you. Here on this table, as you can see, you've got this little note by that plant that says pirates find the chess key to get your treasure the throne king will guide you to your next clue and john barrow has written this message to us on the other side you can find the same message in french and so there's little fun things to do as well throughout the apartment which is so cool i honestly i cannot recommend these tactical home apartments enough if you love disney and the disney parks especially you will love this this is just like the notebook at the end where you can write your messages it's like a guest book but this is why i got excited when i found something in the gramophone because izzy and i have been kind of searching the apartment uh, at basic ever since we arrived last night and now i found something here which we hadn't seen before and let's have a look it says the living room's birds will take you to the next clue oh my god the living room's birds so we need to find the next clue by maybe having a look at the birds there's quite a few birds so we've got the parrot here of course there's one bird over there just here as you can see by the entrance where we arrived of course we've got that one there Hmm. I'm actually not going to show you all the clues because I think if you're going to stay here, it'll be fun for you to do it yourself. So that's more or less all you're going to get. But Izzy and I trust us. We're going to we're going to try our best to see what this leads us to us. The next bit, of course, is the balcony because you do get a balcony. I'm going to go outside very quickly. I don't want to spend too much time there because it's a little bit cold. It's been raining today, so let me just close that. This is the balcony over here. We've got this fake tree plant again, nicely themed. There's a little table for two. You can actually smoke in the balcony. The actual apartment is completely non-smoking and they very much are strict about it. They do say in the emails that you get that you cannot smoke in the apartment and it doesn't smell like anyone smoking in it to be honest. But obviously it, with it being France and smoking being a big thing, you are allowed to do so um, on your balcony. And yeah, it's nice. The view is pretty cool as well. This is just like, obviously, these are apartment buildings around us. So it's just a random apartment that um, the owners of Tadiko Home have decided to turn into a cool, awesome looking Airbnb. But there you go. Nice little place to chill. And actually, the weather right now is a little bit better. When we woke up this morning, it was so rainy. Another thing I love, though, is that, again, even the things, the little grasses, would you say, on the table are nicely coloured and themed to like an adventure land vibe and again there's a lamp here as well so even if you want to chill here in the dark at night time when it's late i think you can turn that on there must be a switch somewhere and then you can yeah you can enjoy yourselves even in the dark but there it is that's the balcony that's a bonus i know a lot of people enjoy a little balcony you can have your breakfast here and because of course you've got like a kitchenette as well you can make your own breakfast if you wish you enjoy it and yeah great right let's go back in and here's another look at the living space from this angle now, that's the table here, the sofa, the Izzy, the lamp, the plants. And actually another cool thing here is that they give you another prop here. And this is a prop that you can actually use and put on your head. Again, you can become like an adventurer, an explorer, maybe use that over there as well and take some fun photos around the apartment. Why, hello there. This is Explorer Sam and I'm on a quest find some treasures today. I don't know where to look. There's gonna be so many treasures and hopefully fun things to find around me. 
Are you gonna help me? Hopefully, I believe in us. We're gonna find something. What's this? I don't know. We've got a parrot here. Can you can you tell me some hints about how I can find some something exciting? I want to explore, I want to find more about the world. Oh, hello. Are you Explorer Sam? Only joking. Come in. <laughs> Here is the bedroom, of course, and it's my favourite part of this whole apartment. As you can see, the bed sheets here, very much pirate themed. I love the reds and the black. Really nice, and we've already slept on this bed already, and it's, it is a comfortable bed. And of course, here on top of the bed, we've got the school rock, which was actually hand painted by one of the owners of Tadco Homes, Sandy, in five days apparently. Pretty cool, and it just again brings so much character to this room. I love Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride is one of my favorite rides here in Disneyland Paris. So, this just is incredible. And you need to look up a little bit because when you look up, it almost feels like we're literally under some caves and underwater. It's awesome. And there's a lot more to come actually with this room. So make sure you keep watching because again, the surprises keep coming. That's what I've noticed. This is a theme with Tadeco Homes. I've stayed in two of their apartments so far. If you haven't checked out my one of when I stayed at their Frontierland home called Frontier Home, that's like obviously a Frontierland themed apartment. It's got Phantom Manor, Big Thunder Mountain. I'll leave the link to that down below. That was also awesome. But I now know that the surprises never end. But so far, phenomenal room. And then as we get here as well, again, oh my God, this actually spins. <laughs> I didn't even know that. So you can pretend to be a captain of a ship. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Da -da 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 now I'm having a pirate party. But, um, oh, Izzy loves this song. I am a princess, I am a pirate. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you'd rather be a princess or a pirate. I'd rather be a pirate, I think. You also have this. A flag with a skull on it which again is a nice prop that you can use for different things really cool check out my Instagram if you want to see some fun photos that Izzy took of me she just kept handing me props last night she was like this is one you need for this photo but really really fun the kids would love this as well actually and if you come a bit closer here you can see a treasure or yeah a treasure box which does have a lock but Unfortunately, we don't have the key to the lock, and that's what the secret little messages apparently lead to, and we've tried. So far, we haven't managed to find the key. And even if we do, I'm not gonna say it in the video, because like I said, I wanna keep the surprises and the fun for you. But let me know if you ever stay here and find out what's in this box. There you have it, loads of fun can be had with these props over here. Very, very cool. And again, I can't get over this vibe. It, it almost does feel like you're on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Adventureland. This, again, awesome. But then we're going to get to the other side of the bed over here. And this little desk here, which has some really cool props again. So, ah, oh, this is nice. This is like a model of a pirate ship. Almost like a metallic silver vibe of it. Really nice. <laughs> you get a little sword. Obviously a fake sword. But again, nicely detailed. I imagine loads of fun can be had again with this. Children would love it, adults would love it. You can do some cosplaying, take some photos with it, even get a gun. And honestly, this is such a light gun. I don't think, not that I've ever held a gun, but you know, like toy guns. My brother used to own a couple of toy guns as a child and they definitely felt a bit more heavy than these. And, oh, this is nice. This is one of the collectible, I think, coins. Hopefully you can see it through the reflection and keys that you can get of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, which is awesome. We've also got some little candles here that you can, I think, turn on. Let me just turn them on now. They're on now, but you can't really see them very well. So we're going to get back to these tonight when it gets dark, because obviously right now, as you can see, it is very much bright outside. So we'll get back to them now. Let's turn these off for now. And then here we've got the Pirates of the Caribbean book by Disneyland Paris that was released a couple of years ago. I actually own this book myself and it's a great book. Let me just quickly show some of it to you because you can actually buy this book, I believe, from the park still. And it's got loads of information about the ride, the attraction here in Disneyland Paris. And the good thing is it's both in French and in English again. So if you don't speak French, if you don't understand French, don't you worry, they do have you covered in English too. And then just under all these props, you have this chest of drawers. And I believe these are all empty, but let's just have a quick look, yeah. They're empty, but it's just some storage area for you if you wish to put anything in there. And the lamps by the bed again, <laughs> really well themed. 
love them very cool i like the fact that you have two lamps too and then you can just obviously turn them on turn them off you do obviously me um have some uh plugs as well which is awesome they're not like you know uk ones or usb ones they're just the standard european ones but if you have you know an adapter you'll be absolutely fine there's also another one on the other side this is actually izzy's side this is where she slept i slept on the other side and that's why you can see my laptop's just there and i normally bring one of these things so that you can basically you know connect more than just one of your items your devices and charge them all at once and i've just attached that to the plug over there so that's definitely very handy too and then here we've got some photos again nice posters sorry the glare is a little bit distracting let me get to the other side and we'll start with this one actually captain jack sparrow nice artwork of him and this is the artist over here really cool he's got his gun as well very similar to the gun that we've got there and then here pirates of the caribbean Again, a nice little artwork with some maps, some skeletons around it. This is actually nice. This is something that I would want in my own house, actually. Let me know what you think of this. And then following on from there, over here, we have our last piece of artwork in this room, which is Pirates of the Caribbean, the kind of main attraction poster, Adventureland, and yeah, really, really cool. Love this artwork. And we've got a parrot, of course, overlooking it as well. And behind the parrot, you may have noticed him, <laughs> We've got a monkey just chilling above the door, which is hilarious. Again, it's all about the details in these apartments and I love them. And he's holding some keys. There you go, I can't really touch them, I'm too short. But I love how he's just chilling there. It's a little bit like scary. Like that's what I mean, like there's so many surprises that if you don't know what's going on, you might be like, ooh, what's that? But that's it, one last look at this room. We are gonna check it out when it gets darker as well. Before we get to that though, there is one last thing that I feel like I need to show you in this bedroom, because you might be wondering, is there not a wardrobe in this room? Like, what's this? There must be something behind there. And actually, over here, can you see it? You can see the tail of a rat. It's obviously just painted on the wall. But it does make you curious, doesn't it? It makes you wanna open this and see what's in there. Just prepare for this, guys. <laughs> probably not going to be what you expect at all. In fact, I'm going to give you three seconds to just leave a comment down below and guess what you think is going to be in there because you would expect it to be a wardrobe, right? Just maybe some hangers to put your clothes on. Oh my god. Look at him. That is... <laughs> that is madness. It's huge as well. You've got the Pirates of the Caribbean logo on the bottom and He's life-size, like I'm gonna go and stand next to him almost so you can see. This this is obviously Captain Jack Sparrow. He's taller than me. He literally is taller than me. This is scary. Izzy was the one who first opened this yesterday when we first arrived. I was I hadn't even come to the room yet and she was like, oh my god, he's here. But yeah, as you can see. Not a real wardrobe by any means. That's actually something to bear in mind. That's the one thing that I will say some people might not enjoy about these apartments is that with the wardrobes and all the bedrooms, generally speaking from the two that I've tried so far, you're always gonna get surprise in them rather than actual storage space for your clothes. I don't mind, because normally when I come to Disneyland Paris, I'm not gonna be staying for too long anyway, so I'm happy to just leave my clothes packed in the suitcase. But some people really like to kind of unpack and hang their stuff. You can't really do that here. There's no hangers, but instead, you get Jack Sparrow, so win-win situation. How do you feel, Izzy, about having Captain Jack Sparrow just in the bedroom with us? I mean, it's a bit disturbing. <laughs> He's got a gun, a knife, and a skull by his foot. So. <laughs> yeah, and Izzy notices a little skull on his by his foot as well. I hadn't noticed it yet. Oh, Lord have mercy. And it's the eyes as well, because obviously it's a statue, so he's continuously looking the same direction in a very weird way. Yeah fun times it's probably gonna be even scarier last night i literally wouldn't let izzy open this because it was dark i was like i've seen it now i know it's there i don't want to see it just before i'm sleeping <laughs> but we are gonna show it to you again tonight because there's one last thing that is very cool about this room yeah make sure you keep watching because the next clip is going to be us in the dark tonight just before we're about to go to bed so see you then well it is now night time it is in fact about quarter to 1 a.m so pretty late got the skull behind me as well it's definitely dark outside we've drawn the curtains but it's time now to see this exciting thing i'm very tired sorry if my voice sounds a bit tired it's because i am we've been in the parks basically all day 
but yeah, it's time to see this last feature of the room, which is very cool. I've not even actually properly experienced it myself yet, so let's have a look. So yeah, it's time for bed. Not really seen anything particular happen so far, so maybe, maybe that is it. Maybe we've seen all there is to see in this room. It's time for bed though, because I'm really tired. Good night. Good night, Izzy. Good night, Samara. Dumper habitable, yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at that. I'm, I'm on the ride. The wardrobe. What? Did you see Jack Sparrow in the dark? I'm scared. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm actually legit scared. I know. I know what's in there now. It's He looks extra terrifying, I don't know why. Oh my god. What? <laughs> you have fun tonight. Oh my god, where are you going? Oh you need to stay. well despite obviously the last uh, encounter that I had with Jack Sparrow just before I went to sleep I was surprised that I still managed to get a good night's sleep how would you describe them they're a bit too soft you know oh, I like them yeah as he likes them some people prefer slightly firmer pillows I, I want to say I guess if you prefer very firm pillows maybe bring your own if you come to stay here um, I, I like them like this as well but I like I had to put two together kind of for it to be the perfect length the perfect height, the perfect amount of comfort. I'm done. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? <coughs> Before we go though, you have this guest book here, Adventure Home Tadika Homes. And honestly, some of the things that people have written on them so far, I'm just going to show you some of the artworks. They are so, so cool. I wish I could do something like this. I mean, look, that's Jack Sparrow over here. And actually, something I've noticed is that the majority of them are in French. So I don't know if maybe English-speaking people, maybe people from the UK don't know about these apartments yet. I hope that you consider staying here because honestly, they are so good. Like I said, I've tried a couple of them now and they are phenomenal. Especially if you like somewhere with a bit more space, you want your own kitchenette. Decent prices as well, I would say. But I'm going to write a little note as well. They do actually provide you with a pen. It's a 30th anniversary pen, which is cute. That's nice. And I don't really know what I'm going to write, but well, like, one thing I do know is I'm definitely not going to be able to draw anything cool. But we're going to write something nice. There you go. I think I might be the first or one of the very first people writing in English. And actually, you can see how many people have already stayed here because there are only maybe about five or six blank pages left. So they might need a new one soon, which is awesome. And everyone, all the guests, I've had a look through some of them. Everyone's saying phenomenal things about this place. So it's definitely very well loved amongst Islam and Paris fans. So I just said, Dijon, Jerome and Sandy, this apartment is absolutely gorgeous, so immersive. And the attention to detail is the, and the theming is incredible, which is something I really appreciate. It's also very clean, actually. That's another thing that is important to me. This is my second Tadika homestay, first one being Frontier Home. And I can't wait to explore more. I think they're actually making a fancy land one as well. It doesn't exist yet. Currently, they've got Frontier Home, Adventure Home, and Discovery Home, which I've not done yet. But yeah, I'm so excited to see what else is there to come. But yeah, there you go. Thank you, Sam and Izzy. And if you come and stay here, make sure you you know see if you can find my message towards the back, and let me know as well in the comments down below if you ever consider to stay here because I I would recommend it for sure. Anyway, now that we've got that written, let's have one final look at Adventure Home and its living area, with the beautiful plants, all the greenery everywhere. This wonderful sofa, these Adventureland artworks as well. But I think to fully appreciate this apartment, we need to do a quick visit to Adventureland in this land park in this land Paris, and maybe go on Pirates of the Caribbean the ride. Let's go. And just like that, we're in Adventureland in this land Paris, right in front of Pirates of the Caribbean the ride, which is one of my favorite attractions here. And we're gonna go on it. Let's go. Izzy, are you ready for the ride? I'm ready for it. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 I'm ready 
you for the rest? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like we are. We stopped. So I always like to point out Chaplain Jack's restaurant when we go past here, formerly known as the Blue Lagoon. It's a very beautiful restaurant. The food, mm, can't say it's my favorite in Disneyland Paris, but the, the, the setting, the atmosphere is incredible. And honestly, I can already smell the smell of chlorine. And that's one of the reasons why I love this ride so much. here in Disneyland Paris. It's so cool to be able to go on Fires of the Caribbean in Disneyland Paris and then also kind of have the same ride in your own apartment at Adventure Home. It's so awesome, the bedroom there. So cool. Speaking of that, I feel like before we end this video we should probably go back into Adventure Home's bedroom, put the pirate ship and end it there. So, oh look, we are back in Adventure Home on this beautiful bed, this pirate themed bed with the school rock behind us. And yeah, that's basically the end of this video. We've had a fun time here. The stay has been amazing, it really has. The apartment is gorgeous. I hope you got the feel of it as well with all the details that is included in Adventure Home in this Airbnb. We also got to ride Pirates of the Caribbean in the parks as well, which you would have just seen. And it's just awesome kind of going into the land in the park and then coming back to Adventure Home and just seeing all the similarities and you know noticing exactly how amazing this apartment is with the details that they've put into it. So I just wanna say thank you again to Jerome and Sandy for this stay and let me know in the comments down below again if you consider staying here if you will consider staying here in one of your future trips to Disneyland Paris because I will definitely come back and like I said I can't wait to try Discovery Home which is the one that I haven't done yet and I'll definitely stay here at home again the prices are very reasonable compared to some of the Disney prices and even some of the partner hotels and it gives you more like freedom you know there's facilities there for you kitchenette uh, you've got like a full-on dining area so Especially for a family, I think this could be a you know nice place to stay. And of course, you've got Captain Jack Sparrow there as well. I mean, how can you say no to having him just casually <laughs> in your room, in your bed? I don't know, something fun, something unique. You're not going to get that anywhere else. But that is the end of this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Check out Tadgo Homes. I'll leave their link down below if you want to see what the room rates are like and if you want to book your stay yourself. And I will see you in the next video, okay? See you guys, yo-ho!